Illinois was bowl bound. Northwestern had struggled, and in the Land of Lincoln Trophy game, Northwestern won and put a damper on the end of Illinois' season. Tommy DeVito is Illinois' starting quarterback. He's from New Jersey, Syracuse transfer, and he has been deadly accurate, Brock. Lights out. Of course, this, this offense is run by Chase Brown, but they need DeVito to make plays, and when they ask that of him, more often than not, as you see there, he gets the job done. So this is an Illinois offense that starts with its running game, but they go to the pass game on first and 10, and there's Casey Washington. On second down, DeVito, another quick hitter, and this time he finds the former quarterback. Throw it to him, snap it to him. He is the real deal. Illinois with its first first down, and there's Casey Washington again, who lowers his shoulder and picks up a few close to the 45. Second down, and there we go. Chase Brown with his first carry of the day, and he's hit hard across the 45-yard line by Xander Mueller. And so one in 10 season and a one in seven mark in the Big Ten. Third down for DeVito and Illinois. As the pocket collapses, DeVito is sacked. So Northwestern's defense gives up a first down, then they get the defense off the field. Hugh Robertson's punt in the direction of Donnie Navarro, who began his college career at Valparaiso, and then Illinois. Offside, defense, number 11, five yard penalty, remains fourth down. So we'll try the punt again. Again, Navarro, the former fighting Illini, now wearing purple, back deep to receive the spiraling punt. Fair catch at his own 10-yard line. And Cole Freeman, the walk-on quarterback, on first and 10. In trouble from Johnny Newton, and the pass is caught by the running back, <laughs> Evan Hall, who's got over 50 grabs on the season. Freeman turns and hands to Hull conventionally this time, and Hull brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Third and short, and Malik Washington in motion. Hull, first down, Northwestern. Fresh set of downs. Time for Freeman, but no one's open. And a smart play to throw it out of bounds. For all we know, he can do everything. <laughs> Northwestern does have some good tight ends as Hall breaks through a Newton arm tackle. Northwestern has converted a third down already on this drive. Freeman to the air. In trouble. Hit as he throws. Looking for his tight end, Marshall Lang. Luke Akers to punt it away in the direction of Keontae Curry. Bouncing punt with the wind at Akers back and out of bounds. On first and 10, it's Chase Brown. First year coordinator, Barry Lunny Jr. On the ground, Chase Brown, room to run his longest of the day. First down, Illinois. If he can't get back out there, I promise you he will. So it's Reggie Love who carries on first down. Second down, and Love, the native of St. Louis with some room to run. Oh, look out for Reggie Love right now, a 20-yard gain. And on first and 10, Love again hit hard. Pitch to Love. He cuts back and gets a bear hug from Adibare. He's hard to find because he lines up all over He's the defensive all over line. The place. Here's a third down throw for DeVito, and the pass is caught. Washington's got an Illinois first down in the red zone now for the Illini. Casey Washington, it was just a question of health with this wide receiver room, but here's Washington. He sees the soft point in the zone, and he just reels in that ball. Great throw by DeVito. To the end zone, just a little bit of far out in front of Washington, and it's second down. Playing without, starting running back Chase Brown. Here's Reggie Love, who breaks free. Love kept the feet churning and is brought down in what some would say was a, a hopeless place. <laughs> you couldn't wait for that one. <laughs> There's Reggie Love with an Illinois touchdown. Reggie Love after Chase Brown 
Young leaves with an injury, picks up right where Brown left off. Caleb Griffin for the point after try. Indiana has obliged so far. They lead Purdue 7-3. It's 7-0 on our end. As after a Northwestern touchback, the Cats take over. <laughs> Every Big Ten game was a trophy game. I, 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 don't, I don't know what we did wrong. <laughs> It's Cole Freeman on first down. Freeman, a lacrosse player in high school, not afraid to move his feet. Andrew Clare, the running back. And the second down, Carey, he is stacked up and dropped. I'm just glad Newton decided to put a shirt on. He was walking around <laughs> on the field bareback. He's from Florida, too, not afraid of the cold. It's third and long, design quarterback draw. Freeman over the 30-yard line and brought down. If you're Chase Brown, you're encouraged by what Reggie loved in last series. It's, okay, maybe I need another series to warm up because 23 has this handle, but the, the whole state of Illinois can breathe again. Isaiah Williams waits for the fair catch after a 42-yard punt. First and 10, DeVito rolls out. Pass incomplete. Two really good cornerbacks for this Northwestern defense. Cam Mitchell on the other side, and Chase Brown is dropped. Having a huge first quarter to start his final Land of Lincoln Trophy game. It's third and long. DeVito, pass incomplete. They are just a solid unit. It's a fake. Hugh Robertson, the punter for Illinois. First down near midfield. First and 10. Back to Chase Brown, one yard, second and long. Back to Brown, such a patient runner as he slips through a hole at midfield and is brought Chase down. Brown. Third and six for Illinois, blitz off the edge, and DeVito is sacked. Rod Hurd, the nickelback for Northwestern. And what a job by this Northwestern defense, and Defensive coordinator Jim O'Neill, you allow Illinois to convert on a fake punt. You go right back out there and stop the Illini again. Michigan blows out Ohio State in Columbus as Hugh Robertson kicks it Donnie Navarro's way and it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Cole Freeman back to work on first and 10. Evan Hall to his right. Here's Evan Hall. Cut back, and he runs into his own teammate, Jacob Gill. A, a better opportunity at popping one. Now look at Skaronski on the right side this time. Freeman on the rollout. Fluttering pass, batted out of bounds. Again, a lot of pre-snap movement. They want to clear things up for Freeman. Third and five. Freeman, pass caught, Malik Washington. That is going to be a blast down in Indianapolis. It's first down, and Malik Washington throws it back to Cam Porter. If he can lead his receiver there, he may still be running. Porter again on the direct snap, spin move, and he keeps his feet. He is still as talented as he has always been. There he is again on the direct snap. Illinois ready for him that time. On second down, Freeman, quarterback run! Freeman breaks free. Cole Freeman, the athlete that he is, if he can clear the second level, he's good. Joseph Hyman, second and nine. Freeman, quick hitter. Pass complete to Jensen Hooper Price, and he rumbles for another Northwestern first down. From the 22, it's first and 10. Freeman. On the crossing route, Freeman under center. Almost looks strange. Freeman for Navarro, incomplete. Blanket coverage. Running out of time here. Freeman with one second on the play clock. Over the middle for Hall, and it's intercepted. Devin Witherspoon, room to run. Pass Freeman. Tripped up by Ethan Wienerker. Loaded Illinois secondary. 
Illinois football now on first and 10. DeVito airs it out, and the pass is broken up in the end zone. Casey Washington in motion. Isaiah Williams on the toss. He stiff arms Rod Hurd. Another flag flies in. Personal foul. Face pass. Defense. Number 24. It's first and goal. Reggie Love. Short gain. He runs into a cloud of purple. On second and goal, Chase Brown dropped at the five-yard line. Xander Chase Mueller Brown. and A.J. Hampton. So it's third and goal. DeVito. Pass caught, but out of bounds. And a flag comes in. Defensive pass interference. He was still out of bounds. Right. Number 13. Receiver went out of bounds on his own, came in back in first, and was the first to touch the ball. Lost so because down, he was still out of down. bounds, he was not permitted to touch the ball. So it was 11 of 15 on the season. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. What an electric atmosphere. That's a great point. I mean, it, it's like 8,000 screaming fans inside Devaney Fieldhouse. Caleb Griffin kicks it midway through the end zone. Good news for Illinois with Indiana on top of Purdue, 7-3 to three as Evan Hull carries on first down. Arm tackles, side tackles, they don't work. He has too much power. Hull met by Quan Martin. After the play, personal foul, defense, number 74. 15-yard penalty at the end of the run, automatic first down. Penalty was on Tariq Barnes, the linebacker. And here's Malik Washington on the jet sweep, tackled by Darkangelo, and it's second down. Draw play. From the gun, Anthony Tyus, and a flag comes in. It looked like Isaac Darkangelo for Illinois. <laughs> Head to the play, sideline warning. Illinois, their first of the game. Next infraction will result in a yardage foul. Third and short, you can't risk that. Duke Olgus, the tight end in motion, and there's Tyus up the middle for a first down. Sidney Brown, ankle tackle. Remember, Northwestern was moving the football earlier and threw an interception. Tyus dragged down by Darkangelo. Evan Hull back on the field for Northwestern. Freeman, Newton in his face. Lob pass, Hull tipped and intercepted by Sidney Brown. And they had a 13-game interception streak that was snapped last week against Michigan. They're right back on track today, and Illinois' offense back to work. Trying to do too much. Sidney Brown makes you pay. Credit Alec Bryant on the pass breakup there. DeVito over Casey Washington's head. Now it's third down. Luke Ford, the tight end in motion. DeVito, incomplete. Robertson, fair catch. Donnie Navarro. That's a pass-first offense, but when he gets opportunities, he makes them work. Evan Hull with this latest opportunity for Northwestern, and Tariq Barnes, junior and linebacker Hull, from Memphis. Freeman. Got the block from Donnie Navarro, but Sidney Brown wraps him up around the shoulder pads. Third and long. Let's go down to Megan. He tries to convert a third and long now. On the Illinois blitz. Open man, it's Malik Washington who's thrown down. Luke Akers punts the ball Illinois' way. Isaiah Williams gets out of the way. Here's a first and 10 for Illinois. Pass caught. It's Pat Bryant battling some things throughout the year. 
Another first and ten. And there he is again. Pat Bryant, the sophomore from Jacksonville, to the 35-yard line of Northwestern. And it's him versus Cameron Mitchell. Cameron Mitchell making sure not to get beat deep. He has that deep zone there. These Northwestern DBs, they don't give a lot up over top, but they do give a lot up underneath. It's kind of a pick your poison there. Reggie Love nearly had his second touchdown of the afternoon. Love pushes towards the goal line. Second and goal, DeVito. No signal. Touchdown, Illinois. We expected a heavy dose of the ground game from Illinois today. And they've got 112 rush yards and two touchdowns, but it hasn't been the Chase Brown show. Caleb Griffin's kick nine yards into the end zone. That's no surprise with Tom Izzo as Cole Freeman finds Malik Washington, who's eventually covered up by Quan Martin at the 31-yard line, second down. Quick screens are always tough and a staple when you're facing a man defense because if you can make one guy miss, it may be off to the races. Freeman across the line of scrimmage. First down, two timeouts for Northwestern. Ball through the legs of Freeman. He covers it up with Alec Bryant closing in quick. 11 yards the wrong way into the flat. That's the wide receiver, Malik Washington. Beautiful footwork. And to the play. I, I understand foul. that it's Defense, number 39. Yard it's tough to slow down there. The you just have to be aware, down. and it, it, it's tough to stop all that momentum. But it, it is the right call by the ref. First down, Northwestern. Time winding down in the first half. Washington with the longest pass play of the day for Northwestern, 15 yards. They need another one. Looking for Bryce Kurtz incomplete. Northwestern looking for points before halftime. Freeman nearly intercepted. The down and distance doesn't matter much. Freeman heaves in the direction of Marshall Lang, the tight end. It's intercepted in the end zone by Who Devin else? Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> that's his second pick of the day, and that's how the first half ends. They maximize it. You cannot make errors against this group. Northwestern football to begin the second half. Bouncing kick from Caleb Griffin through the end zone. And again, just one carry. Three interceptions, not just in the first half, but in the second quarter. Most since 2015 and a half. There is a direct snap to Evan Hall on first down. Give him about three. The most consistent thing Northwestern has had offensively in recent weeks is the Wildcat. So when they need something going, that's where they go. They want to get some points on the board to open this half. So not a shocker there. Cole Freeman under center, pitch, Evan Hall. Great edge blocking, he's escorted out of bounds by Darkangelo. Northwestern testing the edges of this Illini defense and it looks like there is a man down. Nope, he's gonna pop up, but just get the ball into Evan Hall's hands. Whether you snap it to him directly, whether you give it to him on a toss, just get him the ball third and very manageable here. Playbook's wide open. Northwestern's been on Illinois' side of the 50 three times in this game. No points. And it's when they cross the 50 that the mistakes start. That's the issue. Third down. Pass caught. Malik Washington, very reliable wide receiver for Northwestern. Michigan in the Big Ten Championship game. First down, Northwestern. Evan Hall wrapped up and thrown down. Calvin Avery on the tackle in the middle. And he's the nose right at the point of attack, meaning if he wins, the play is dead. Pass, run, it doesn't matter. Watch 93. Immediately swims and gets to the backfield. There is nowhere that Evan Hole can go. Again, when the nose tackle wins early, the play is dead. Avery from Dallas, Texas, his second 
tackle behind the line of scrimmage of the season. Second and long. Hull again wrapped up by Johnny Newton, Avery's teammate on the defensive front. Randolph, Avery, Newton. Names that have just been terrorizing offensive lines all year long. Johnny Newton, he lives in the backfield. It's his first step that impresses me most. Right when that ball snaps, he steps and he is engaged with that offensive lineman before they can even react. Third and 10. Opening drive of the second half. Washington immediately reached by Devin Witherspoon with help from the true freshman Gabe Ackes. And there's not much that Cole Freeman can do there when it's third and long. Illinois likes to bail out in a in a safe cover two, forcing you to throw it underneath. That's a plan working, but Northwestern is playing four downs. They are. So a fourth and five with the ball near midfield. Three-man rush, nearly intercepted by Kendall Smith. Turnover on downs. Illinois takes the football away. Otherwise, the run game has been relatively benign. As for quarterback Cole Freeman, he needs him to just take what's coming to him. Chase Brown, the ball carrier. Megan, thank you very much. This is Illinois' first drive of the third quarter. It begins with a carry by Chase Brown, who has now equaled his carry total from the entire second quarter. Yeah, we saw him with a carry, a, a carry for a three-yard loss early in the second quarter, and he rested up. We were wondering if we would see him in the remainder of this game. A happy sight, number two there in the backfield. Doak Walker, semi-finalist. And there's the tight end, Luke Ford, first down and more. Inside the 30 of Northwestern. And that's just the Chase Brown effect. So much focus on him. So the entire defense is going to flow with him. And right underneath Bryce Gallagher is going to be forward with a easy catch. It. They don't get much easier than that. Not a soul around him. So he has time to catch it, turn up, and lower that shoulder and get some extra yards. Tenth catch of the season for Luke Ford, part of a deep tight end room for offensive coordinator Barry Lunny. First and 10, DeVito steps up. He is sacked. Xander Mueller. I'm going to continue to copy my broadcast partner, Brock Vereen, and say part of the Bash Brothers yes. for Northwestern. <laughs> They're the real deal, man. They came on the scene last year and have grown a ton. Look at him fight through all that muck in there. He doesn't give up. He has the motor and finally gets DeVito to the ground. This Illinois offensive line has had a great game. There was just nowhere to go. And DeVito ran out of time, and Mueller, second sack of the season. By the way, Mueller and Gallagher, the younger Bash brothers, their older brothers, both played linebacker for Northwestern as well. Chase Brown tackled out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Third down. And don't be fooled. Just because that injury scare that we saw earlier in the game, just because that happened, they still want to get him that record today if they can. Whether it's a championship, whether it's a bowl game, he will easily get that mark. But they want to do it against their rival. Nation's leading rusher coming into this weekend, Chase Brown. Isaiah Williams in trouble. Tommy DeVito throws a block. And Williams tackled by the defensive backfield pair of Rod Hurd and A.J. Hampton, a loss of one. Addy Barre living in the backfield. Man, he gets to the backfield. <laughs> Williams can even react. Look at 99 right there, lined up at defensive end. I mean, he just slides through, dang near untouched. They try to pin him with that tight end, but it doesn't work. Now, Williams is enough of an athlete. He can still get out and make something happen, but that is a tackle for loss because of 99. Right about 30 yards on the play, lost <laughs> one. <laughs> Caleb Griffin, second field goal try. This one longer than the first. Same result. We're about to see Illinois' defense. First and 10 for the Cats. And there is Andrew Clare. And again, he ran into his own guy. 
it was Jacob Gilman. <laughs> Jacob Gilman, two tackles on the day, getting in his running back's way. Now look at Andrew Clare, a decent amount of patience. He hops to the right, finds the hole, and a bad angle there by Kendall Smith. Clare able to take advantage of it, but <laughs> poor Jacob Gilman, he cannot catch a break. It was still the longest play of the day for Northwestern on a 22-yard gain as Cole Freeman on the quarterback sweep gets to the 49 of Illinois at second down. Sidney Brown doesn't make the tackle, but he forces him inside into help. Great job there by Brown again. One of the bad things in a man defense is a running quarterback because a lot of times there's just no one responsible for him, but you can always trust number 30 to make a play. Team captain. Here's Claire again. Claire is running hot on this drive. First down. They play Michigan in the Big Ten Championship game next week in Indianapolis. Ball loose. Look who it is. Sidney Brown. Eyes on the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. And I promise you, down there in Alabama, Bielema will be on the first flight to watch his boys ball out and go make some money. So Northwestern, four turnovers, all in Illinois territory. Evan Hull on a first down carry to the 28. Second down. Hull to the 30, gain of two. <laughs> that you could find. It's so, so dang good. Here's a third down for Illinois' defense. Flag coming in. It looks like this will be a hold on Northwestern. Holding. Third and long now. Pass caught by Jacob Gill. Evan Hull swallowed up in the backfield. Polished off by the freshman Gabe Ackes. It's once they get around this area, around the 50, that they make a mistake that forces them to punt. Second and 10. Screen. Hall. Swallowed up by Keith Randolph. Done a little bit of everything for Illinois' defense this season. Here's a third down, Northwestern. Freeman slings it. It's intercepted. Sidney Brown, his second touchdown of the game. And there's another member of the Illinois Interception Club. His second touchdown, his first, remember, was on a fumble return. First FBS player this season with a pick six and a fumble recovery touchdown in the same game. For all of you college football trivia fans out there, that's a great nugget. And he's not done. That's all right. He's having a heck of a day. It's like Samson out there. First and 10, and Evan Hull on the carry. And Freeman, that's always good to see, clapping on the, the young freshman. And then Jack Lau, she wants him to succeed as much as anyone. And there's Malik Washington on the wide receiver carry. Lau, is from Chicago. He played high school football at Brother Rice. And he is wrapped up and dragged down. Line eye defense off guard, but I don't know if you've noticed, Chris, they don't get caught off guard very often. That's. Certainly true, pitching a shutout right now. Late in the third quarter, short punt that checks up near the 50. Tommy DeVito, the quarterback, give to Chase Brown. He's seen his brother score twice today. And almost made it to more at this point. It's, it's brother versus brother. He's not competing against Northwestern, he's competing against Sidney Brown. And he almost pops this one. Gallagher, no, that is Grayson who is able to get him on the ground. Grayson Metz, a very good game. I know the scoreboard is what it is, but Grayson Metz has made plays when this defense needs it. Brown on first down gets thumped in the hole. By who else? Back the line. Back line, yeah. He had a huge hit last week against Purdue. It was fourth and one, and the running back did end up falling forward, but it was the biggest hit of the game. And that was what, what everybody thought was, who the heck is number 37? I need to see a little more of him. We saw him there with another big hit. 
Uline started for Bryce Gallagher a couple of weeks ago and availed himself in that spot start. Offense, number 63. Five yard penalty, second down. Second and long now after the false start on Illinois. And nobody wants Purdue to lose more than that guy right there. Alex Palczewski, he needs two more starts after this game to be the sole leader in FBS history of most starts. Now, they're going to go to a bowl game, but he needs two of them. So he has to go to the championship in order to do it. If Purdue does win, he can at least tie it. One to tie and two to win, as it were, as DeVito throws a pick. It's Rod Hurd. A takeaway for Northwestern's defense. And DeVito frustrated at himself there, just trying to make something happen where it wasn't. Rod Hurd is technically underneath the receiver, but he's still dropping in his zone, and he's facing you. See, when a DB is bailing like that, if their head is not turned toward you, you can try and get it over them because they don't know that the ball is coming. But as soon as he gets his head back, you cannot throw that ball. He's going to time his jump and get the pick just like that. Great play by Hurd. That's only the fourth pick that DeVito has thrown this season. I mean, he's as accurate as they come, literally. <laughs> we saw the stats to open the game. A rare mistake by DeVito. So Lausch, the first year quarterback at the controls for his second drive. Old reliable Evan Hull, gain of three, second down. Evan Hull, the ball carrier. Quick update on the action in Bloomington. It is 17-7, Purdue by 10 in the fourth quarter. Purdue clinches the Big Ten West with a win uh, and a, a game for the Old Oaken Bucket, another great trophy in the Big Ten final week of the regular season. Wide open, Evan Hull on the running back screen. First down into Illinois territory. And they get D'Argangelo with this one. He's responsible for Hull. The play action got him. He, he put his eyes back inside, and Hull kept running. And there's no easier throw for a young, inexperienced quarterback than just a running back out into the flat uncovered. And he leads the FBS in receiving yards. Again, he's not a running back. He's not a receiver. He's just a football player. What a move by Hull in the backfield. He is still going. Evan Hull, a beautiful run for a Northwestern first down on the final play of the third quarter. With Jack Lausch and Polinski and Sullivan and all the other guys, and he'll get his opportunity, but there are some things he needs to clean up before April. Cam Porter takes the Wildcat snap and feeds Malik Washington, who runs into Donnie Navarro, his teammate. And is Go around me, you'll get more yards. Third time that has happened today as Porter takes the direct snap and is bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Here we'll hear from Jerry McGinn. Conduct. Defense, number 17. It's his first of the game. We have the distance to the goal, automatic first down. First and goal now for Evan Hull, the Wildcat quarterback who's hit and dropped by Isaac D'Arcangelo. Touchdown game. Jack Lausch back in at quarterback for Northwestern. He runs out of bounds. Lausch looking for Northwestern's first touchdown and his first career touchdown. Third and goal out of bounds. to get a rushing record when you keep scoring all the touchdowns. Let him get on the field, Sydney. Come on. A pooch kick, fair caught by Isaiah William. Here's Chase Brown. And Northwestern gives him a yard. Nowhere to go there, trying to test the edges of that Northwestern defense, but Eddie Barr is out there, and I don't know about you, Chris, I'm not running toward that man. <laughs> the, he's like the, a, the day he's having. He's like a ghost, though. I mean, you see him line up at virtually every position on the defensive line. I mean, that would get in my head if I were an offensive lineman, especially. Over 200 snaps at each defensive line position. Crazy. 
Second and nine, and the give back to Chase Brown, and Sean McLaughlin meets him, but Chase Brown got out of it and managed to pick up an Illinois first down. We're going to have to see this again. I thought McLaughlin had him. Let's see here, the run to the left. McLaughlin wraps him up, but he stays balanced on top of McLaughlin, and then he keeps going. The play doesn't end until the whistle blows. And Chase Brown, you're able to use his incredible balance. And A.J. Hampton's just saying, man, I can't get this guy down. Chase Brown in the quest to become Illinois' single season rush yards leader. Mikel LaShore at the top of the list. And Richard Mendenhall on that Illinois Rose Bowl team from 2007. There's Brown, and he's hit by Devin Turner. One yard gain, it's second down. Devin Turner is a young safety who probably wasn't expected to play much this year, but when, as this Northwestern team just got decimated with injury after injury, he got thrown into the fire and he's performed very well. Again, the problem with these young guys who play unexpectedly means they didn't get reps with the ones during spring ball or, or training camp. They were with the twos and the threes and scout team, but then injuries come and week eight rolls around and it's, hey, Devin, you're starting. Figure it out, buddy. He's, he's done great. A baptism by fire. From the pistol. Chase Brown. Pushing the pile along the sideline and eventually out of bounds. A little bit short of the first down marker. What do you think? Just about every carry has got to be going to Chase Brown at this point. <laughs> Why not? I mean, at this point, if you're Coach Bielema, you have no control over Purdue, Indiana. It feels like you have this game locked down. So, hey, go and get your running back a record. If he's healthy, obviously, whatever slowed him down there during the first quarter when he, he hobbled off the field, he seems fine. And I promise you, DeVito and these receivers are saying, don't worry about us, Coach. We'll all be here next year. Let's get Chase that record in the regular season. Third and two. And the pass is caught by Hank Beatty for an Illinois first down to the 50. I did not see that coming. <laughs> not bad coverage there, though, by the outside linebacker, Grayson Metz. It's a tough task whenever a linebacker has to cover a receiver as, as speedy as Beatty. He was in position. He got his hand up. Beatty was just able to bring it in. But there's not much else you can ask from, from Grayson Metz there. It smelled like a run. I mean, Chase Brown had accounted for every yard on that drive up until that play. They've got an extra offensive lineman, Josh Geske, wearing number 94. And he is a big man. And yet they went to the air. There's Chase Brown with the cutback. And tackled at the 45-yard line of Northwestern. We've seen the strength that he has dragging these piles in recent plays. Here's the footwork. Watch what he does to A.J. Hampton. Boom, boom. Just like that, you blink, and he is gone. A.J. Hampton has him lined up, a sure thing, and just like that, he plants that foot, hops to the side. You see me, now you don't. He's just the complete package as a running back. There's nothing you can look at his game and say, yeah, he really needs to work on that, right? He can get better at everything. We all can. But there's no thing to exploit about him. He's, he's a finished product. Second and four, here's the pitch to Chase. On the cutback, he's tackled by P.J. Spencer. Chase Brown, the ball carrier. Tayshawn Holmes does a good job setting the edge there and allowing big number 50 to come back and make the play. Chase Brown using his vision, seeing a cutback, but when you got 11 hats flying to the football like that, there's just nowhere to go. And Third and medium, usually this is Isaiah Williams' time. He's not on the field right now. Playbook's wide open, probably four down territory anyway, so anything can happen, but I'm looking at number two. Illinois bleeding clock. Chase Brown open out of the backfield. Around Jeremiah Lewis and finished off by Rod Hurd inside the five. 
How is nobody responsible for Chase Brown? <laughs> this play, the most dangerous man on the field. Nobody goes with him. Nobody. There is nothing but green grass. It's, it's, it's inexcusable for Northwestern. But for the Illini, credit to DeVito for finding a wide open man. And Chase Brown almost able to get in there. Look at that. You have three Northwestern defenders covering one receiver. One of them, probably two of them, need to be covering number two, Chase Brown. Again, they don't throw to him often, but he has such soft hands. When they do, it's always a big play. First and goal. Chase Brown denied. Xander Mueller was the first to get there. Of this maybe championship game, maybe uh, certainly a bowl game. Reggie Love for his second touchdown of the game. This call is upheld. Has been determined that the runner was short of the goal line. The ball will be placed short of the goal line, third down. It's third down and goal to go. A true sign of the modern game, Illinois out of the shotgun. <laughs> Chase Brown, touchdown, Illinois. A uh, Brown. <laughs> Sydney Brown had two. Chase Brown finally gets one. Associated with Peyton. I feel like you have to be from Texas for that even to be your name. Right. He's, he, he's, he's a Southern boy, but he's not, he's not a Texas guy. Evan Hall, fair catch. It's Northwestern football, late fourth quarter. The state of Illinois is the foundation of Big Ten football. Every team has kids from Illinois. So as we see, a huge hit there. But what Bielema wants to do is win the state because now every team that you're playing against doesn't recruit as well because you're keeping kids home, right? So that's what this year has established. But Kanena Odaluga, Brock, with the big hit. And he's making his presence felt right there. Evan Hull can't even breathe before he has an orange helmet in his chest. What a play by him. Here's Joseph Hyman, the second. Good cut following his quarterback through the hole. He picks up a Northwestern first down. Again, I referenced last week versus Purdue. Hyman didn't have a lot of carries, but he made something happen with the carries he did have. And unfortunately, after this big carry, he's, he's grabbing at that shoulder. In the final game of the season for Northwestern, they won their first game at the end of August overseas in Ireland. They beat Nebraska and have not won since. Here is Lausch, the quarterback, who gets drilled. Xavier Scott and Matthew Bailey. This is such a deep defensive backfield for Illinois. The coaching staff very high on both Bailey and Scott, two true freshmen. The majority of that defensive backfield are seniors or juniors who are for sure leaving to the NFL. But Xavier Scott and Matt Bailey, when they have gotten in in, in some, some limited reps, they have definitely flashed something. Xavier Scott had to play cornerback the last two weeks because Witherspoon was the only healthy cornerback that they had on the roster. They're very excited about those two young men. Lausch hit by that same tandem and finished off by Dylan Rosiak. And of course, there's the quarterback position for Northwestern that they're going to have to figure out next year this. But until that quarterback position gets figured out, it's going to be tough. It's the position it all starts with. Lausch. Pass complete and room to run. It's Calvin Johnson, the second. Looking like Calvin Johnson, the first right there. Seriously. Great catch and run. And a good throw by Lausch, right? This is really the first non-play action rollout completion that he's, that he's had. He walks proud after that one. Spins out of that, uses the momentum from the tackle against the defense. He's able to get outside. First and 10 from the 35. Another fumbled mesh point. Lausch keeps the ball in Northwestern hands, but is dropped for a three yard loss. Michigan pummels Ohio State. Back to back wins over 
Ohio State for Jim Harbaugh and the Wolverines. And to think only a year ago it was, well, has Harbaugh's time run out yeah. at Michigan? And he has the year that he had last year. He has this year. And things are are changing for the better in regards to to the Wolverines. Definitely some some darker years by Wolverine standards, of course. You know, they, they were still winning games, but back-to-back -back wins versus Ohio State. Injured offensive lineman is Ben Rather for the Cats. Duplicated this week when Brett Bielma found out that his father-in-law had passed away on Wednesday, and we're certainly thinking about his wife, Jen, especially right now, and their two children. Few men better, better than Pat Fitzgerald. That's the truth. Third and long for Laos, who's drilled by Bailey on a blindside blitz, and it's fourth down. Great blitz by the freshman Bailey and just lack of awareness from the quarterback Jack Lausch, but he's young. He just needs reps. It's going to be a blindside blitz right there. And while you want a quarterback to take a peek over there before he gets into his drop, he's a true freshman. This is what the, the 20th snap he's ever taken at the collegiate level. Some things you just learn with reps. Lausch, good escapability, and the pass is complete. Donnie Gray has a Northwestern first down. Lausch making some things happen back there, making Dark Angelo miss. It looks like you're going to see him come through, and boom, he's going to shake him, get to the outside. And it looks like it was going to be an interception, but a mistimed jump. That's through the hands of his intended wide uh, receiver, Chris per Petrucci. Chris Petrucci. <laughs> a minute left in Northwestern right on the red zone threshold. Pass is caught. That's Johnson. But a yard behind the line of scrimmage. This Pass Illinois defensive line sniffed out that Johnson. screen from the second that the ball was snapped. That offensive line kind of took off right away. Usually you want to get into your pass set for at least half a beat, then take off. There were really no good options. There was a screen on either side. Neither of them would have been a successful one. Lausch, end zone shot, and the pass was caught, but out of bounds. Donnie Gray, the great catch, but the purple is out. Great effort there, right? Lausch is fabulous. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, if they 14, extend Gray, those end zones about half of a yard, it's a catch. <laughs> but you know what? Again, this game is over. The season is 23 seconds away from being over, but that's a heck of a throw by Lausch. And yes, he brings it in again about two yards too deep, but that's good. Again, that, that was his 20-something snap in college football. Great throw. Another fourth down. To the end zone, intercepted. Tyler Strain. He joins the interception club. It's a pretty deep club. It's a long list. That's <laughs> very true. And again, we, we've talked about the, the seniors back there. Tyler Strain, a redshirt freshman. So again, you're looking at the future. And it is tough to plaster your guy. That, that's, that's the common phrase used when the quarterback is scrambling. And man, Tyler Strain makes the sure-handed interception. And, as Quan Martin and Devin Witherspoon move on, Tyler Strain, Matthew Bailey, and Xavier Scott step in. Bright future for Illinois, and this season does not end tonight. The Illini are going bowling. They may not win the Big Ten West, but they have improved their bowl standing with their first eight-win season since 2007. Congratulations to Brett Bielma on what's been a tough week emotionally for him. You can see Pat Fitzgerald congratulating and perhaps consoling him a little bit as well.